Hey Taurus, this is Mystic Virgo. Thanks for joining me for a reading today. I'm doing two readings for you today. It's going to be a collective reading for, for all for the Taurus, but it's also going to be it's general, and I'm also going to do a separate love reading for you all. So you're gonna have two two readings today. Okay, so take what you need and leave the rest. So with your general reading here, I have the Ace of Pentacles and I have the Chariot here. Clear and concise reading for the Taurus today. There's a new path that headed that you, that's headed your way, or a new path that you're being guided to take. Uh, it's like all 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 speed ahead, full speed ahead, uh, because it's going to take you to a new way of living, a new way of seeing things in your life. Whatever you've wanted and prayed for, Taurus, is here for you. Okay, a new pathway that's going to lead to your greatness. You're going to look back a year from now and, and say like. Man, I can't believe how, I can't, what a difference a year makes, okay? You're probably at that point now. But a year from now, you're going to look back at this moment and say, wow, I've been through a whole lot in that year. 2020 was a bitch, but 2020 is your year of growth, okay? We have here the Four of, of Swords, the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Cups. It's, it's like, okay, give me some overall energy for Taurus with this new path. What's the overall energy for Taurus' this new path? Ten of Cups. You blessed. Okay, I have here the King of Wands at, at, the, at the bottom of the deck here for you with the Queen of Wands here. Okay, um, the universe is just is handing you your your this is your, this is it this is your, this is your opportunity to grow to thrive here you have a new opportunity a new path that that you're being guided to take get in your car pack pack your shit up and let's go let's start a whole new world for us there's no time for holding out on yourself for holding out on your abilities you know this is something that you can do let's bounce We've got this queen of wands i'm ready what's on the other side of this ace of cups a king of wands you didn't met your match, or you will be meeting your match, your life partner. The universe has prepared you for this moment, for this new path. You got to take it, because this person is going to bring you happiness, true happiness. Everything you've ever wanted, this person is going to give you, because if you, because you decided to take that leap of faith, because you decided to start your new path, you probably had to do something. You probably have to start over from the beginning. And with you taking that leap of faith and you sat on this long enough, it's time for you to be prepared. The person who's coming into your life is going to give you everything you ever desired. They're just going to hand it to you because this is who they are. They're going to hand you greatness. They're going to hand you happiness, a family, love. Everything you've ever wanted and prayed for and manifested, your due season is here. Taurus, your due season is here. You're manifested this person. You've manifested this lifestyle. You've manifested your greatness. You've manifested this new path. Everything you want is coming to you because you waited and you took your time and you worked your ass off to get here. You held on long enough, okay? A journey of a thousand miles begin with just one step. Is that what it is? It's time for you to move. You've probably already done this or in the process of starting something over from scratch and that's okay with you starting over and moving forward here you're communicating with your destiny I'm past I'm letting go of what no longer serves me here the universe is telling me is communicating with me telling me I'm greater than I think I am I'm looking back at my past I'm looking back over the things I've done I'm looking by looking at all of the opportunities that have passed me by that I allowed to pass me by but the universe told me I got you let's do this don't worry about the shit and bumps of the, uh, bumps in the road in your pathway I'm knocking all of that stuff out of the way so you can get to your greatness so you can find your king and queen of wands leave what no longer serves you out in the cold yeah, you're going to have some bumps in the roads. You're going to have some bruises and everything. And in the process, you're going to have people that's going to hurt you. Leave those people out in the cold to find your greatness. Don't let them stop your power. You got somebody who's coming into your life here. 
They're going to offer you what you've never had. This is this is the opportunity of a lifetime for you to grow. And it's going to lead to commitment, a higher form of a commitment, if not marriage. You will this person to you. You've manifested this beautiful relationship into your life. It's time for you to get started. Your new path. Where will your new path take you, Taurus? What's in that life for you, that new person? You got to make that decision. What do you want to do? More messages that I have. <laughs> the cards want to fly all of a sudden. Okay, we have this King of Pentacles. Focus. What do you want? Uh, maybe you go out. Maybe you're drinking a little bit too much, though, too. Don't take no BS off anybody. Don't take no BS, nobody. You're very, very fruitful gainfully employed <clears throat> if not gainfully you will be because you focus because you take care of business taking care of business building your castle how you want it to be not what others want it to be okay page of wands here and i have the the nine of pentacles the two of swords so we have here you working hard, very, very focused. It's like maybe you're the boss on your job or something like that, and you meet somebody or, or they, something around you, somebody around you doesn't work as hard as you work. You, you, hmm, okay, hold on. So you moving, your, you moved on, you, you're living your life, okay, Taurus, and you're focused, well-educated, thriving on your own. And then we got a page of wands. Somebody makes you nervous. You see somebody. Like, ooh, I like that person. You know, even though you're sitting at your desk working or sitting in your neighbor or cutting your grass or whatever, and all of a sudden you look up and you see somebody. Like, damn, who is that? You know, it's like you see somebody who is amazing, who's breathtaking, male or female. They just made you just swallow some spit and you caught that shit up or whatever but they caught you off guard and you like damn I like that person what is that person I need to figure out who that person is it's like this person makes you freeze up for a minute but you know you got to have to go out you have to go after this person because this person has some of the same stuff you got you see those those uh grapes here grapes there all of this this money all of this wish fulfillment all of this beauty they have some of the same traits that you all have that you have you all have some of the same traits. Some of the same, some of the, the same tenacity. It's almost as if this person is a part of you. You all share some of the same desires. You just got to meet up with this person. But when you talk to them, you kind of nut up. Like, oh, I don't think I can, I don't think this person is in my league. And then you start changing your mind. You don't really know. But then you sit there, you sip on that wine and you drink that wine and you think about this person and you like, I want to approach that person, but how can I do this? I'm still stuck in my head. I don't know what to do. I don't know if this person will like me back. Because this person is too powerful for me. Will I ever be able to communicate with him? Will I ever be able to communicate with her to approach? Because both of y'all are, are kings and queens in your own right. You think that, that you all are at different ends of the spectrum and you don't think that this person will dig you because you're afraid. Even though you're standing all up in your power, you've got some good stuff for you. Uh, some you Look, you've got a good life. You have a good life. You've been blessed with a good life. The universe is saying, I'm going to, I'm going to show you beauty for your ashes. Okay? And you're going to have whatever it is you desire. You're going to meet that person. They're going to meet you halfway, and you all are going to fix this stuff. You all are going to be in a happy, happy relationship together. This person is one way at work or where you know them at, but they're a totally different way. They're a totally different outside of the work area. They are all about business, but they're all about pleasure also, getting to know you better, okay, getting to know who you are. Some of you may be dealing with two people, but eventually you're going to say, this is not for me. I'm belonging out. It's time for me to move on, move on and be with somebody else. Okay. So meeting somebody at work, you see somebody, or they may be totally different when you see them in a different environment. They're not going to be the same person that you look at in a supermarket. When you see them somewhere else in a business sense, they're going to be totally different. Maybe, maybe a judge, maybe something in 
and law enforcement or whatever. They're just going to be a total different person. But that lets you know that they know how to take care of business. Okay? But this person is for you and you are for them. So, I'm done with this reading. This general reading. I'm going to tap into the energy for your love reading. So, I will see you in another video. Talk to y'all in a minute.